welcome and hello there ladies and gentlemen, as I said, this time we are looking into the Bulldog or the Left KPC, which I use most of the time. Basically the Bulldog, it has no armor whatsoever, whatever is shot in your general direction, it will penetrate you. I mean, if it's a heat shell, it shall have some kind of a, uh, I don't know, RNG moment in your tracks, but everything quite actually penetrates you. You play it with that mindset. I'm gonna get penetrated and I'm gonna get killed. So basically, what's going on with the Bulldog, right? Why am I showcasing it? It's fast. It can scout people and it can actually disassemble slash kill people because this guy here has the heat, the other guy has the APDS. Left KPZ has the APDS as well, but come on, chemical boys unite, right? So yeah, here I'm actually showing you the real difference between them. As you can see, the last shell of the normal Bulldog is the APDS and the superior shell goes to the FKPZ, the heat. That being said, let's get right into the video. Basically, I'm gonna show you a couple of battles where I did what I do best with this vehicle. I scout, I kill, I track, I injure, I critical, whatever, you name it. Just you name it, I can do it with this one. As you can see, I'm approaching the ridge line. I also do that trick where I shut off my engine, but... There's a nut moment right there. I mean, it has hit the left KPZ, come on. Nothing more to say there. So in this one, I got into a bit of trouble and I died in the end actually. One of my uh, couple of deaths where I did not die of a plane, but I'm gonna show it to you guys uh, just in a second here. So I see a T-54, a uh, FV 4202 I think was it, and a IS-2 if I'm not mistaken. Basically what I did, I shot the T-54, I couldn't do shit to him and I just rolled in, like tried to scout them all, injure whatever I can to get my teammates rolling and they would... Actually this one, I hate myself for this one actually because my shell should have detonated in that bush. Maybe the proximity didn't actually trigger because it was still in my barrel and it needs time to get off the barrel and get that detonates, detonator set, but uh, yada yada, let's not dwell into that. Well, APDS power here. As I said though, chemical boys unite. I mean, I love the heat shell. I for one cannot go without a heat shell, at least on last year's right but APDS does the job also you can do these kind of shenanigans with this guy it's light it can move fast it, it, the traverse is freaking outstanding and you can move you can rotate whatever it is it's so small you can squeeze it into these tiny spots like this and scout people to death and to that, I mean, I scouted that tiger, he did, and that panther, right below me, is gonna die as well. And the thing here, the 50 cal on top of the turret, actually helps, because you can do unconventional stuff like this. You're gonna see it in a second here. I mean, most of you guys who actually play War Thunder know about this stuff, but then again, let me show you how you shred a tank with a 50 cap. Ha! <laughs> like a butter. Like a hot knife through a butter. So yeah, basically this engagement right here. I was really confused as of what was going on right there, but <laughs> when I saw the second smoke, I thought to myself, oh yeah, somebody's approaching me, and I had that 
um, classic the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure moment right here. Oh, you're approaching me. <clears throat> so this tiger is disabled. He has no engine. I'm gonna keep... Uh, how may I put this delicately? Disassembling him piece by piece because that's where the APDS drops back a little because it's a tiny little dart which goes through a tiny little hole and sometimes doesn't do enough damage to your opponents. And here this guy actually tried to sneak up on me but I hear engines my guy. Come on. Kaboom. And in this particular set of battle I was dispatched from my location by some bombs yeah you can hear them right now this position with the bulldog is so superior they needed a plane to get me off of it also this one hitting the transmission to let him stay in one place my artillery will not finish him but then again, I did me job. I'm scouting. I think I had actually an intelligence mission right here to do seven intelligence or whatever. I do not really remember, but I did my best to scout people, not to kill them. As you see, I just scout everyone. I actually thought to myself, let's kill this uh, Puma, right? Because nobody's killing it. Well, 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 little did I know, he didn't die from one shell. And he actually tried to bamboozle me, in a sense. I thought he was running away, and I thought to myself, I'm gonna shoot him in the back, but no, nah, he was right there, and I got jump scared. Of course I get jump scared, you know? Everybody gets jump scared from a shell going right in front of their vehicle. Uh, well, little did he know I'm an experienced player. And now, the true, not real power of the APDS. I mean, War Thunder has its moments. Sometimes it actually punishes you for being this toxic. Because I was so toxic in this game. Come on, look at me. I'm just aimed here, scouring people all, all over the place. Maybe shooting them, critically injuring them, whatever. And the shell does not go in. Of course it will not go in. Yeah, of course the second one will not go in as well. And I'm going actually crazy right here. I get my five. Yeah, and this shell, how... How did I do that? Beats me. It's just like Sometimes it's just like And I do this to T-54s. I shoot the turret to get the cannon bridge and try to get near. I mean, they have big uh, machine guns on their turrets that can actually shred me, but if I kill the gunner or the commander, it's a bonus. And yeah, that's how I disassemble people, actually with the APDS. I mean, APDS is all about disassembling people. Here, as you can see, I'm not using the heat because I really needed to show you how the APDS works as well, right? Because everybody knows how in the hell heat works, right? It's a chemical boy, it penetrates straight away. And yeah, another example of the 50 cal. You can shred everything with it, even PTs. No, no, that was actually an object, but yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, this skill. I actually forgot about this one. I, I actually cancelled my uh, repair to go ahead and finish that guy. I mean, you're smoking yourself, but come on, I cancelled my repair to get you, my guy. Please, have some respect, right? I actually hate BMPs. I'm just gonna throw that out there, oh, I just hate BMPs. And now I spy with my little eye. Oops. 
And on that note, I'll wrap it up for now. Until next time, like, share, smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time, where we actually, again, play a little guy with a little light to spy and a little gun to disassemble people.